What's up guys, Kevin here from Salty Bottom Outdoors. I am just about done fishing. It is, it's been off and on sprinkling, prefrontal conditions, supposed to rain tonight, it's supposed to be cold the rest of this week. Had to get my fishing trip in. So I brought a couple of lures with me, wound up only using one and caught four different species back here. And that is the Miradine. This is one of my go-to late fall, winter, early spring lures. If you haven't checked these out, check out this video, smash that like and subscribe button, stick around. I'm going to show you exactly just how effective this lure can be when the fish are feeling pretty finicky. See y'all in a minute. I was definitely not recording back there. This is a nice one. This is a nice one on the mirror, Dean. So, I had my camera off, unfortunately, but I've been throwing at top water for a while and I got quite a few fish to sort of swipe at it, but I couldn't really get any to commit. It's not a monster, but it's a decent fish. Oh yeah, barely hooked it looks like. Just grabbed the tail of the Miradine. All right, come on guy. I only have 12 pound line on here, so I'm not gonna flip them. All right, first fish of the morning. And it's a beautiful uh, 22, maybe 23 inch redfish, something like that. All right, we're gonna get you unhooked. Not keeping fish today, so you're a lucky guy. All right. Gonna measure them. I'm gonna say 21, 22, something like that. Gorgeous fish. Oh, shoot. Fooled me, big dog. You're almost 23. <laughs> all right beautiful morning been throwing the top water for a while had a few swipes no commits so switch to the miradine stuck him now i gotta get it untangled from the net <laughs> so i was fishing right in here i'm sort of moving through here and a uh a fish followed my top water right here made a couple more casts with it nothing Switch to the Miradine. And he smoked it. These fish are a little lethargic. And I said the water temperature dropped about 10 degrees overnight. Oh, that was a hit. That was a decent hit. That was another one. I got it. I got it. Oh my God, almost fell over. Trout, nice looking trout too. All right. That's a nice trout. Oh, you're not huge. Still, not complaining. All right, you ready to come in the boat yet? Oh, he's still, got, he's still a little fired up. All right, here we go, here we go. Come on, there we go. Okay, that's a nice trout. All right, my guy, you got troubles all in your mouth and I ain't trying to have those in my hand. There we go. On the Miradine, beautiful trout, uh, 20 inches, something like that. Get him unhooked and we'll take a look. Beautiful speckled trout on the Miradine. Let's check him out for size right quick and we'll get him back. Hmm, about an 18 inch trout. All right, 18 inch trout on the Miradine, early morning prefrontal conditions. Let's get him back. All right. That was cool. Unexpected, but very welcome bycatch. All right, guys, now it's bright enough to see. That's what I'm working with right there. 
black back, orange belly, Miradine. It's got that broken glass look on the side. I love this color. This pattern just, it works, man. Throwing that on my six foot nine Shimano medium light. I like a really bendy rod for this because I run really light line. I'm only running 12 pound Seaguar on there, uh, fluorocarbon. Light line, flexi rod. That's what I like for jerk baits. Let's see if we can get another one. So I have my trolling motor on very slow. I've got it between two and three. Um, and this is a finesse tactic. You really gotta, you, you twitch, twitch, pause, and lower go ch -ch -ch, and then just sort of slowly sink. And that's when they're gonna hit it is when it's sinking, when it's paused. There he is, there he is. Redfish, little redfish. Either that or he hadn't realized he's hooked yet. Oh no, he's decent. He just, like I said, they're lethargic. They hadn't really realized he's hooked yet, I don't think. There we go. All right. Miradine putting in the work on these colder kind of finicky reds. Oh yeah, beautiful red. I'm gonna say close to the same size as the last one. 20. Oh, he choked it too. I can't even see the Miradine in his mouth. 20 to 22, something like that. Let's get him netted up. Once he's ready. Come on, my guy. Get that thing out your mouth. Oh my God, he choked it. <laughs> can't even see it down there. Oh my God, you gotta see this. He was, they, they are cold, cold, cold. I'm gonna show you how I know. Look at the mud on the bottom of him. <laughs> I cannot, literally cannot even see the Miradine in his mouth. Holy crap. <laughs> Come on, open your mouth up. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Holy crap. Good God, he thoroughly choked it. Skinny, skinny fish though. Let's see if I can measure him right quick. Uh, uh, uh. Lay down, I'm just trying to measure you. I'll get the hook out in just a second. 23 and a half, he's actually bigger than the other one. But look, you see the mud on the bottom here? He's been laid up in there overnight, not moving much. That colder weather's got him lethargic. Now let's see if I can get this Miradine out without hurting him. There's one hook. Need you to open your mouth so I can get the other one, dog. Jeez. Well, that was a pain. All right, my guy. I'm sorry. Keep you out of the water so long. Had to get that Miradine out of your mouth. Let's get you back. Come on, wake up, buddy. There he goes, there he goes. All right, and he wasn't even bleeding. Good, it wasn't in his gills. It was deep in his throat, it just wasn't in his gills. Good, 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 good. I believe dehooking that fish without even making it bleed after he choked it deserves a snack. At least that's what my stomach is telling me. So I choke down a little bit of this protein bar. Mmm. Mmm, we'll get another one. And try to. Mmm. Despite the cold weather and the big drop in temperatures, they are still. Oh, dude, that was another fish. My line just started going that way. Oh, a striper just just swiped at it. Oh, a striper just just swiped at it. No, like literally right next to the boat. You got to be kidding me. The wind is picking up and it's supposed to rain this afternoon, so I'm working on limited time. But I got a real shot, an inshore slam. There he is. 
Did he come off or he's just running with it? He's running with it. He, oh, yep, yep. I think this is the striper. This is, oh no, it's a baby red. Oh man, I thought that was the striper. Whoo, pretty little redfish. Power pulls down so the wind doesn't blow me all over the place. There we go. All right, well, looking for stripers. Thought I had him. Did not. Got me a nice little marsh redfish. Hook good, weren't you? Not coming up. There we go. Nice little about 14 inch marsh redfish. Beautiful little fish. We're gonna put him back and try for some more stripers. Or try some more for some stripers. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. I don't know how well y'all can see that, how this Meridine twitches through the water and just stops and floats there. Deadly effective lure, guys. Oh, something just swiped at it right there, like as soon as it hit the water. There he is, got him. Please tell me that's a large mouth. It's either, it is a large mouth. All right, okay. Woo. I wouldn't say it's a large, large mouth, but <laughs> that's my inshore slam on the Miradine. Oh my goodness, what a little micro bass. See you, buddy. Right as it started sprinkling, I wanna see how far back in this pocket I can push. Cause I have never been back in here. Oh, oh, <laughs> that was a nicer one, gum. Y'all saw that bass? Oh, he jumped up in the air and threw it right there. Big log. Oh, well, I guess I'm not going any further back here. It's a big stump right there. There's one that goes across right there as well. That's why there was a couple of bass sitting there. And uh, I didn't even see it until I was basically right on top of it. So this is as far as I go. See if I can hook whatever. Oh, something came after it. There he is. Come on, be my better bass. Nope, another micro bass. Oh, what? What? Okay, guys. Okay. This has never happened before. Never before in my life have I caught a sunfish on a freaking Miradine. I'm gonna have to reshoot my intro. Holy crap. <laughs> what? What? Look at this, guys. That's a nice sunfish, too. Look at that, on a Miradine. That is crazy. Are you kidding me? That is insane. All right, see you, buddy. What? What is that? <laughs> okay, so so what do we call what do we, like an inshore slam would be redfish speckled trout flounder. A marsh slam would be redfish speckled trout bass. What do you call it when you catch a bluegill in a saltwater marsh? <laughs> I just caught a redfish, like right there. There he is. Is that? Don't tell me that's another sunfish. That's another sunfish. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Dude, that is two slab sunfish on a freaking mirror lure. Guys, I wish I was kidding about this. 
This is my second bluegill or red-eared sunfish on a mirror lure. Are you kidding me? Let me get that guy back. See you, buddy. Should I try to catch some more? I think so. I cannot believe the kind of day I'm having. I mean, I'm not saying I've caught a ton of fish, but the variety and, and, and it's easy fishing too. I mean, I have not, yeah, the, the bites have come spread out a little bit, but I haven't run far and I haven't worked hard for these fish. It's crazy. There he is. That's, that's a nice fish. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, thought he was a nice fish. Just a little foul hooked. A little micro red. On my way out this bayou. Wound up. Tagging another little mini red. This one's a male. Can hear him drumming. Chalk up another one for the mirror, Dean. Get him back. See you, buddy. All right, guys. That's it for me. I fished a little later than I wanted to, but that's because I got into a little bit of action. That's how it usually goes. But I am done. Mission accomplished. I caught four different species on my mirror lure today and a really surprised species that I've never caught on anything like that before. And, uh, really kind of blew my mind that just goes to show you these prefrontal conditions can be very effective if you know how to fish them and you can get the right time the wind picked up big time cloud covers getting heavier it's time for me to get back to the house i got to put the cover on the boat and i got to pack i'm headed to louisiana in the morning so y'all please remember to smash that like and subscribe button down below i appreciate each and every one of you thank you for your continued support hope the wind noise isn't too bad i will catch y'all next time right here on Salty Bottom Outdoors.